is up guys, Scythe here with a Star Wars Old Republic guide. Haven't done a guide for Star Wars Old Republic in some time, um, so go easy on me. Uh, if I forget anything, you can ask questions in the comments. Um, but basically today, uh, I'm going to be going over uh, focus targeting, uh, something that's really helped me out in arenas. Um, it seems like, uh, especially versus healer DPS teams, you can use this um, to shut down, um, you know, Sork DPS, any kind of caster, you know, Mercs, uh, whatnot. Uh, it's really good with Assassin. Um, it's really good to, um, you know, for the general awareness, say you're in an arena or in a war zone, you want to shut down a certain healer without actually targeting him. Uh, because you're wanting to focus your DPS on another target, but you're wanting to stop, um, you know, let's say a healer from casting or doing different things. Um, but uh, there's a couple of different things. Um, you know, for each class, you can do this several different ways. Um, we will go to a training dummy real quick. Basically, you have your main target. Um, you know, you guys may have your UI set up different than mine. Um, you will need to go to your editor and make sure your focus frame is turned on. Um, make sure it's enabled. Um, another thing I like to do is I like to have my focus cast bar in you know middle of my screen, kind of top, so it's you know I see it all the time. So every time I'm DPSing one target, I'll see if a healer is about to throw a heal on that target or if there's a healer casting. Um, it's right in the middle of my screen, um, so I can see exactly when those heals are going to be going off. And you know this it works really good in war uh, arenas, um, war zones. You also find some uses for it. Um, if you're just, you know, looking to uh, get that extra bit of DPS out and not have to worry about CCing, uh, changing targets back and forth. That's the main thing you'll notice the difference um, is when you're trying to CC somebody, either a healer or a caster, you won't have to be swapping uh, your target to that caster, CCing him, going back to the target you're attacking. You lose a lot of valuable time. And uh, setting a focus and interrupting using a modifier key really eliminates that targeting and swapping. It just cleans up and makes your DPS a lot more fluid because you don't have to swap targets. Uh, it's basically eliminating a step. So you will need the focus target in the user interface. Uh, it's fairly easy to find. Just go to the user interface. Uh, you'll find all your different HUD options and make sure that's enabled and reposition the cast bar and resize it. I definitely recommend putting it somewhere that you see it at all times. Um, another thing you'll need to do is go to preferences and you want to go to key bindings at the bottom and go to targeting. Um, there's two different things you'll have to set up. You'll need one key that uh, basically what you'll do is when you want to CC your focus target you'll hold this key and then you'll press your stun or your interrupt or your leap um, this works for a lot of different classes, so just don't think this applies to just Assassin. It works really great with uh, the melee that have, you know, the you know 10 meter uh, interrupt range. But you can still use it with other melee with, you know, grappling, gripping. You can even charge a heal, a charge stun, you know, because that will interrupt them. Uh, you can charge a healer to stop a cast. Um, so this applies to a lot of classes. Uh, so basically what you are going to be looking for is two different things. Let's see, targeting. Shift R is going to be set your focus. So basically this training dummy, I'll have a demonstration of course at the end of the video how everything comes together and works. Um, so basically Shift R sets my focus. So at the beginning of the match we will close this for a second. Beginning of the match, this is the, we'll use my companion as an example. This is the target that I'm going to be attacking. And this healer is going to be either healing this target or it could be a DPS trying to DPS me. I will quickly target this target, hit Shift R, which of course, you know, you can put whatever keybind you want to that, um, to set focus. I'll be DPSing this target. If that uh, target wants, you know, is casting heal, I can quickly interrupt, or I can quickly stun, and I don't lose the precious time of going running back and forth, back and forth, switching target to this guy and switching back. So it basically cuts out all those steps, and you're basically at the beginning, you shift, you know, shift R it, set your focus, and then you're on your DPS target. You don't have to worry about targeting anybody else. Um, 
So it just cuts out a lot of that target swapping that you would be doing for the CC and lets you really focus on DPS. Um, so we're going to go back to targeting. So we do have that uh, key bind uh, basically setting your focus. Uh, and then we have the modifier key. Um, let me show the focus set right here. A set focus target, swap focus target. So that's what you're going to be wanting to have something. I mean, it doesn't have to be a key like, you know, one, two, three, or four, or you know, something really critical. That's why you shift R. Something easy to reach, but um, you can, you know, come up with something that fits your key bindings a little bit better. Um, and then we're going to come back down uh, to the modify key. And basically, there's a couple different reasons why I use tilde. It's a little quirky that it doesn't allow you to use uh, a lot of the Windows uh, modifier keys like Shift, Control, and Alt. So uh, basically, um, you'll have to have this on a key that you can press and use other abilities. Uh, for instance, my uh, I use a Razor Naga. Uh, my interrupts on my one on my Naga. I have my stuns on my Naga also. So it's very easy for me to hold tilde and then press 1 and it uses my interrupt on my focus target. So basically any time I have this tilde key pressed in when I use ability it is on the focus target instead of my main target. So I'll be DPSing my main target and I see that cast bar go across my screen I will hold tilde interrupt and it uses it on my focus target instead of the target I'm targeting. Um, so basically you can put any kind of CC, any kind of interrupts on that focus target, a healer or caster, without actually targeting him. So uh, you can continue doing your DPS on your main target and being able to get maximum CC with barely moving over and eliminating that target swap. So you're eliminating that target swap, um, you know, of going back and forth between your focus and your uh, main target. Um, so I hope this video is helpful to a lot of people. Uh, I don't, you know, it's it's really good in arenas. Um, you know, I like to share a lot of little tips and tricks that I find really useful. Uh, some of the classes, you know, this may not fit your your class perfectly, but a lot of the classes have charge, grapples, uh, different things like that. I de definitely recommend giving this a try. Um, you know, you can uh, be DPSing someone and the healer be casting a heal on your target that is about to die and you could have a clutch charge, um, you know, with barely just, you know, facing and you're charged over without even ever having to swap targets. Um, and then, you know, of course, your teammates could finish the kill or something. Um, so it's definitely um, it's something I would suggest trying out in arenas. Definitely helped me out. Um, I'm still in the process of gathering gear and... Uh, you know our teammates I guess are still getting gear and stuff so we should have more strategies uh, I'll be able to show this more in arenas and upcoming videos uh, we're just a few uh, guild members are still a little under geared so we're still uh, trying to gear people out before we start the 4v4 uh, real you know hardcore serious um, so uh, but yeah definitely try this out uh, let me know in the comments are you already using this do you like it I know it's, it, it can be a little confusing at first uh, you know, watching all these new, in, you know, casting bars and, uh, you know, having the extra, the frame. But uh, I definitely uh, suggest giving it a shot, you know, keep playing with it. Try it in war zones even. Um, it definitely helps set a healer to focus and then DPS someone and try to, sh uh, you know, shut that healer out. Uh, but I'm going to leave the video with the demonstration showing you guys an example of how it works when you're attacking one target and what you can, uh, you know, basically how you can lock down a healer. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. More content coming out soon. Go ahead and cast.